Welcome to My So Bliss. Today I'm going to show you how to make these darling baby shoes. They're super cute and quick and easy and so much fun to make. So the supplies that you're going to need are first your fabric and I just used a quilting cotton on the top and I used some suede that I got from Joann's on the bottom. You could mix and match, you could do the same fabric, really you could do anything you want. You're also going to need some elastic because we're going to be putting it through here so that it fits and stays on the baby's foot. Then you're also going to need the pattern. I'll put a link down below for it. I really love this pattern. I love this pattern shop. They have great patterns, easy to follow, and just super fun and easy to make. And you can print the patterns at home, which I really like because whenever you need it, you have it at your fingertips. And then you're just going to need all of your basic sewing supplies. One thing that I don't consider a basic sewing supply, but I am going to be using, is going to be these little clips. Most of the time you see them when quilting, but these are really great for making the shoes. When you're putting all of those fabrics together, it's a great way to sandwich them and hold them in place without using pins because a lot of the time pins are hard to get through all those layers. Now, if you don't have these, that's just fine. Pins will work, so don't worry about that, but I will be using these. If you have them, great. So let's get started. For our first step, I'm gonna take the toe pieces and I'm just gonna take two of those pieces And I'm going to place them right sides together. With right sides together, I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew this top straight edge together at 5 eighths of an inch. I'll sew it and then I'm going to come over and trim it at an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to do that with one piece and then I'll take the other two pieces that I have because I should have four and I'm going to do the exact same thing. So for one shoe and the other shoe. Then, while I'm over at my sewing machine, I'm gonna take my heel piece and I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing. So match up two pieces, right sides together. And I'm gonna go to the top of it, so not where you have the little notches cut out, but to the very top. I'm gonna sew it at 5 eighths of an inch and then I will trim it at 1 eighth of an inch. And I'll do the same thing with the other pieces. So I should be sewing those two heel pieces and these two toe pieces. Then with those pieces sewn together, I'm then gonna take my straight ruler and I like to just use my ruler and rotary cutter because it's a lot quicker and easier, nicer to cut. So I line mine up at an eighth of an inch and then I will just cut that seam allowance off and I'll do that with all my pieces. Those four pieces I'm going to take them and open them up so the right sides are out. And I'm actually going to take mine over to my ironing board and do a nice pressing with them so they just lay really nice because I want to press this right here because then I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch a straight line so top stitch at half of an inch. And I'm going to be doing that on all four pieces. Next we're going to take our elastic and we're going to thread it through our pieces. Before you start threading you actually don't cut the elastic because you want to make sure you get it in there nicely and you don't have any issues with it being too short. And then with the toe piece, the lining piece should have slits in it. Just the lining piece should have it so that the elastic can go through it. Now on one of my pieces, I actually forgot to make the slits. So if you did that as well, one trick you could do is just fold your piece in half and then just a little inside um, from the center fold that we just made, I'm gonna do a little slit and I'm just barely trimming that open so that I just go through one layer. And I'm gonna make it a quarter of an inch long so that my quarter inch wide elastic can fit through it. And then I'll go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Just a little bit in from the fold and of course above the stitch line that we just did. And I'll just trim that open a little bit. Okay, and now I'm ready to put the elastic through. One thing that makes threading elastic easier is using a safety pin. Just put it on the end of your elastic and close it. And then I'll take the heel piece and Thread the safety pin through first and then just I can pull the safety pin through and it and then the elastic will trail after. So 
So once I have that on, I can then thread it through the toe piece. Okay, and now they're ready to go. So now that they're on, I'm actually gonna take my safety pin off and whatever size you want, there is a guide with the pattern, so that's really nice. But if you wanna measure on your own child, that's another great option. But if this is a gift, um, the pattern does give you optional sizes. So then you'll just cut it at that size and take it over to your sewing machine and overlap it and sew that down. Now the pattern does suggest doing this by hand if it's easier. I do like to use my machine to do it just because it's a lot faster and easier. So here I have my elastic cut. So I'm gonna take mine over to my machine, overlap it a quarter of an inch and do a zigzag stitch across that. After your elastic is sewn in, I'm gonna set those off to the side and then I'm gonna do the soles. So I am doing lining on my pieces. So here's gonna be the bottom of the shoe and this is going to be the lining of it. So I'm gonna take both of these pieces and with the wrong sides together, I'm taking it over to my sewing machine and just basting all the way around it. While I was filming for these shoes, the filming got messed up a little bit. So I'm actually gonna show you with these other shoes that I'm making, um, that they're gonna be suede on the outside and the lining is gonna be the mermaid fabric. So don't be confused by that. So once you have your bottom sole basted, then we're gonna take this top part with the elastic and with the right sides facing down, so my right sides are this suede. Here's the right side on the inside of this. So just make sure you know what your right side and your wrong side is of this fabric if you're using something that is um, the same on the inside and the outside. So I'm gonna take it and with the right sides down, they're gonna be laying on top of each other. I'm gonna match up the heel with the heel part, which actually, this is my heel back here. And then this is my toe right here. So I'm gonna match the notches up and pin those or clip those if you are using the clips in place right there. After you have your notches matched up, we're then gonna go around and pin all the way around it. So I'm just gonna start with the toe pieces and I'm gonna keep using my clips just cause I think it's easier to use the clips with this many layers of fabric. But if you don't have them, don't worry about it. And I'm just gonna match up the raw edges all the way around. Now when I come to the pieces meeting, so I have this piece right here, this, this is the heel piece, this is the toe piece, and this is the sole piece. I'm going to put the toe piece on the bottom or in the middle and the heel piece on top. And again, I'm just gonna match it so it lays nicely all the way around, so just like that. But I am gonna sandwich that together so that these raw edges are gonna stay on the inside and you won't see them from the outside. So once those are matched, I'll clip those in place and then continue around. And I'm just matching up those raw edges so there's no bubbles. And continue around. And there is gonna be, your toe piece is gonna be a little extra, but you just push it in, matching up the raw edges again, and sandwiching those pieces again. And make sure it lays flat. There we go. And this size is a little bit smaller than the previous one I worked on. So it's a little more tricky because it's so small. But the bigger you get in sizes, the easier it is to put together because you have more room to work with. Um, but this is definitely possible and capable of doing. So once I have it all pinned together, I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine. And it is nice to baste it down first just to get a good idea and make sure it's all gonna line up well and hold it in place because the clips are holding it in place right now. Once I take them all out, it would probably all fall apart. So I'm gonna baste it and then I'm just gonna do a stitch all the way around it. So here I have my shoe over at my sewing machine. I'm just gonna take one of my clips off. I like starting at the top with the notch so that I know it's in place. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna be sewing at a quarter of an inch all the way around. baste it all the way around then I'm just gonna go back and do the regular stitching at a quarter of an inch all the way around I just want to make sure before I go that, that I don't have any puckering or bubbling I do have a little bit over here so I'm gonna go back and fix that make sure it's not gonna stay that way it looks like 
it's not it looks like it's just a little little fold so once it looks nice I'm gonna take it and stitch it again <laughs> done my regular stitching all the way around I'm gonna take my scissors and trim that seam allowance down to an eighth of an inch we're just cutting out that excess bulk that would be in the shoes if we left it after you've trimmed all the way around you can flip your shoe right side out and you have one of your little baby shoes done. And then once you have turned your baby shoes right sides out, you are all done with your baby shoes. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe. And if you want to see more pictures, tips, and tricks, make sure to check out my Instagram at mysobliss. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!